Polar bears don't hibernate like grizzly, black or brown bears. Pregnant females do build a den in the winter to give birth to their cubs, but males and other females remain active. Unlike whales and seals, polar bears don't have a layer of blubber to keep them warm, but they do have a thick layer of adipose fat, which can be up to 10 centimetres thick, but this is not the main way they keep warm. Polar bears spend most of their time above the water on land or ice and in this environment fur is a better mechanism for keeping warm. In fact their fur is so good at keeping them warm they overheat at temperatures above 10 degrees Celsius or if they run for too long. The fur is made up of two layers of hair, a thick undercoat made of short hairs which insulates a layer of dry air next to the skin and an outer layer which is made up of guard hairs. These guard hairs are 5 to 15 centimetres long, tapered at the end, are hollow and filled with air. Recent research on the guard hairs has revealed something amazing. They are very effective at absorbing infrared radiation. This is the part of the electromagnetic spectrum which we feel as heat. So any heat that is emitted from the body of the bear is absorbed by the hairs rather than transmitted through them and lost to the environment. This explains why polar bears are almost invisible to thermal imaging cameras. Another amazing discovery about these guard hairs is that light travels down a hair for a short distance before it leaves it and is then picked up by another hair which it again travels down. This is repeated until eventually the light is absorbed by the bear's black skin or is dissipated into heat to be trapped by the undercoat hair. Although the polar bear looks white, there is no pigment in the hair. The coat looks white because some of the light which travels down a hair is backscattered and so leaves the bear's fur and this is the light that we see. As sunlight is white, we see the bear as white. Other adaptations to the cold include a diet rich in calories by eating lots of seal blubber so that they can generate heat to keep themselves warm. Polar bears also have small ears and tails, relatively short legs and a small muzzle. All of these features give the bear a small surface area exposed to the cold environment enabling them to retain more heat. On a really cold, windy day, polar bears dig pits to shelter. They curl up and become covered in snow. So polar bears have many awesome adaptations to keep them warm in their chilly Arctic environment.